All right, guys, we got our transmission all flashed up. I'm running it through how to do a quick clutch adaptation here to make sure that everything's operating as appropriately. So we're gonna select auto transmission inside our VCDS with our VCDS cable. Wait for the transmission control module to load. There it is, coming up. And from there, we're gonna go over here to basic settings. Select basic settings. Then you're gonna select main pressure valve calibration. Click go. As that's running, it's just uh, calibrating the main pressure valve to deliver accurate pressure to the uh, rest of the transmission. Your main pressure valve is um, is basically your your main supply to the entirety of the transmission. Um, it's what supplies pressure to the rest of the functions of the uh, the transmission itself, the the shift fork actuators, the uh, the clutches themselves, um, and everything in between. All right, that's finished correctly. We know that's calibrated properly. And the next thing we're going to go look at is our clutch valve calibration. We're going to set that to run. And we're actually gonna bring up some measuring data on this one, because I'd like you guys to be able to see the actual clutch pressures themselves. Um, clutch pressure one and clutch pressure two. As you can see, they're, they're coming up and this is actually calibrating the clutches to uh, accept the increased pressure limits, or it's basically telling it the, the operating range with which it can um, increase the pressure of the uh, transmission valves too and there you go you'll see it up to uh, looked like it hit 19.6 bar there uh, it's currently set to 20 bar so it'll be able to to clamp those uh, clutches with a force of up to 20 bar of pressure which is 20 times 14.7 which is 280 plus add another 14 294 psi or so if my beer math checks out, let's bring up the calculator real quick here. What's that? 14.7 times 20, 294. All right, beer math is working. Did my beer math calibration. All right, so click stop there. And the last thing we're gonna do is um, erase this start stop counter. Erase counter for start and stop processes, and that basically erases the um, calibration that the uh, car has adjusted to for its clutch engagement point adaptation. And that's the last thing we're, we're gonna do, is give it a fresh engagement point. And you're gonna see the uh, clutch pressure actually come up on clutch number one, and what it's doing is physically feeling out the clutch for where that clutch ends up touching the um, it ends up engaging the motor and dropping the RPM a little bit. And you'll see it increase, increase, increase until it just touches, and then you'll watch it drop real fast. And that, that calibrates the transmission itself for the, the clutch engagement point. That way you get nice, smooth takeoffs every single time. And you watch it just drop off. It said clutch one finished successfully. Now we're doing number two right now. You'll see it's sitting right there about two bar. And it's gonna slowly bring it in. And it's going to look for what what they also call the kiss point, where the 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 input shaft and the output shaft are actually connected by the clutch itself, because there's two different clutches inside these transmissions. And there we go, finished successfully. We are now ready to go take this thing for a test drive after our transmission flash. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching the videos. I hope you guys have a great day, and take her easy.